Hey, how's it going? Welcome to Sunrider. And uh, last few episodes have been really intense. Uh, so, uh, just to recap... Re Shut up, phone! I don't need you! Sorry. <laughs> just to recap, last time we were here, uh, we'd gone through like the battle preparations, we'd kind of been leading up to this whole like issue we're having with the Alliance going too far. And at the end of the last battle, when they were threatening to fully just destroy the rest of the Alliance fleet that was docked here, which would have pretty much crippled up the whole war effort for a little while. Um, to defend themselves, Admiral Grey launched, like, I'm guessing hundreds of warheads, nuclear warheads, firing them directly at innocent, just defenseless civilians, and warning Pact, the leader of Fontana, like, if he didn't surrender and back off, that he would just glass the planet. And despite the fact that that did save us, I feel horrible being even a part of something like that in the story. I don't even care if it's not real, like it feels so horrible. So I don't know. I don't think I can trust the Alliance. They feel like they're becoming the bad guys we're fighting. And that's exactly the point. Like, if you have to become the bad guys to win, then you've tossed aside the importance of winning anyway. So. We woke up from a dream where we saw the little girl that was killed during our rescue when we were captured by the pirates, and she was traded out with S.H.I.E.L.D.'s sister, claiming that we'd led to her death too. And it was really depressing, and I want some more Chigara time, because that was the only highlight of last episode, so let's see what happens. S.H.I.E.L.D.'s jilted awake. He stumbled out of bed and splashed himself with water. I didn't kill her. Survivor's guilt, though. Because, honestly, she could be dead. I mean, they, like, packed in the very beginning of the game, nuked the main capital, pretty much where most people lived. I'm pretty sure that's where S.H.I.E.L.D. is from, so chances of her being alive is pretty slim. Shields uncapped a bottle of vodka and poured himself a shot. Oh, going for the heavy stuff. <sighs> we are the greatest force of freedom in the history of the galaxy. Sit down, boy, and let me show you war. You will stand trial for your crimes against humanity. Your orders, Captain? Your orders? Your orders, sir! Captain, what do we do? I don't know. There's not much to say here, guys. Like, I think I, I feel the same way. Shield script his glass. I don't know. Good morning. Good morning. Give me the situation. We're holding position just outside on grass, investigating leads as to the Cosette's current whereabouts. Further, we've received a new mission. Alright. The mining union has been in encountering difficulty, sh difficulty shipping parts and equipment to the Alliance due to packed inter interdiction forces. They request that we escort one of the transport ships out of Tidaria until it is in warp space. That's all, Captain. Thanks for the report. Carry on, Ava. <sighs> yeah. Okay. I'll be right back. I'm gonna do um, all the research and upgrades for the ship and the and the the riders. Uh, we got a lot of money. That was one of the big perks to having back-to-back -back fights last time. Was we got some good money. So I'll see you in a second. Thank you, Captain. Come again soon. Okay, I had a ton of money. I was able to get some pretty cool stuff, um, including um, I used the rockets a lot. You've noticed. Uh, turns out the rockets are like nuclear warheads, which is why they're like hit and explode and kill everything. Um, I actually upgraded them to Quantum, so they're even more deadly. Uh, pretty much guessing that they're going to still be able to one-shot anything for quite a while. Uh, I also permanently upgraded the Blackjack. She can move a lot faster now. I'm hoping that'll mean I can do more melee strikes, because that's really her strength. And... Let me see, what else was there? Oh yeah, I, I just gave some tune-ups to a few of the other riders, kind of um, beefed them all up a little bit. And then gave the Sun Rider uh, more kinetic abilities and I think a stronger shield. So like I can protect better people better 
and I do more damage and it costs less for me to do things. I'm, I'm, I'm guessing by the end of the game I'm gonna be able to drop myself in the middle of a fleet and use my like Vanguard, not my Vanguard cannon, but like my uh, Hellfires to be able to just wipe people out because I can fire them so many times. Um, but we have some good conversations to do with some people. I think we will start with a saga here in the hangar bay. Uh, oh, fancy seeing you here, Captain. Needed something? Uh, just making sure everything's alright. Oh, ha ha No need to worry about me. Everything's in tip-top shape. She's lying. Shush, computer. Quit betraying me. It wants to upgrade, update stuff. Of course it decides to do this as I'm recording. Been using the computer all day. Nah, Windows is like, yeah, I'm gonna interrupt you now. Don't worry, we'll smash up the Legion just like we smashed up the pork chop back at Farpoint. Well, you chopped him. Oh, <laughs> you, you chopped him. Oh gosh, that was a horrible, horrible pun. I, like, there should be, pe like, punishments for people who engage in puns that bad. Jagara tells me that you've been acting differently. Oh, wow, instant crushing. Oh, did Chigara tell you that? Uh, well, I just realized. Maybe I haven't been taking things seriously enough, you know? I'm not just some random girl anymore. There are a lot of people counting on me, and it's far away. I know it's far away, but one day I'm going to be liberating Ruvia Prime from Pact, and then I'll have to lead everybody, just like my father and mother before me. I know I'm exact, not exactly cut out for that kind of stuff, but I gotta try my best. Oh, Saga. Good, good for you. Wow, really? I'm impressed, Saga. She just laughed and patted Saga on the head. Ugh. You've really come a long way. Stop it, Captain. If you do that, I'll... Huh? Oh... Oh my gosh, we're gonna reduce her to tears. Eh, nothing. I am the Queen of Rivia, you know? I'll let you know that normally, patting the Queen of Rivia on the head is a capital offense, even for a starship captain. But since you're my captain, I'll just let you off with a warning. You are liege? I am grateful for your generosity. Give a formal bow. <laughs> Man, she can laugh through the pain. Ah, ugh. I, don't, I, I, I hope things will work out okay. But oh man, this does not, um, does not bode well for the future. Sola. Oh, she's in the nurse's room. Uh. So Sola, what, what are you doing here? Shields grabs Sola and whisper away and whispered to her. Uh, Claude wouldn't have done anything weird to you by any chance, would she? Like, like, please tell me that she hasn't abused you in some form. Weird. You know, like poke you in embarrassing places or, or touch you for no apparent reason. Oh, she's like actually flushing. Oh no! C Captain. Ah, oh, crap. That totally came out wrong. C Captain! Shuck! I was merely giving Sola her finest medical attention the ship has to offer. And yeah, you feel the need to lob these scandalous accusations at a hard-working professional like myself? Bull. 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 Uh, liar, liar, pants on fire detected. Just what part of that outfit was? are you, are you wearing is professional. Looks like she ordered it out of like, like, like the sexy Halloween costume section. Sola eyed the captain with unease. Wait, so I, I didn't mean like that. Claude here's been arrested for medical malpractice more times than you can count. I was just making sure. Wow. Oh, we made her cry. What's with us in making girls cry right now? Oh, Captain. I still remember the day when you came on and I came on board your ship. You led me to the sick bay and forced me to do this and that as payment for saving those pirates. That is not true. I became a shamed woman that day. I will never forget it. Sola zeroed in on Claude with skeptical eyes. <laughs> oh crap. Don't no, careful. She's our sniper. She could probably kill you with her glasses. See, Claude? Uh, betrayed by my own comrades in arms. I'll just go sulk in the corner now. 
Anyways, what were you doing with Sola? I wish to investigate how more how I came to awaken this time. While the easiest explanation be that I was in a cold sleep for two millennia, I have always harbored doubts as to whether such a feat would be possible, even with the technology from my time. Therefore, I had the doctor perform some tests to determine the exact duration of time I was in a cold sleep. Based on the most recent set of tests, the doctor believes I was frozen for merely three months. Wait, what? what? Okay, well that would imply that when she activated the... Uh, that, what, I don't I can't remember what she called it, but when she activated that special device, instead of blowing everything up, she was transported to the future. Interesting. Three months? The findings have baffled me as well. The circumstances around my survival have been inexplicable. My body should have been vaporized the instant the final tear was activated. The mere fact that I was put into a cold sleep is an abnormality in of itself. The duration of my sleep only further complicates the mystery. Well, whatever it is, it doesn't change the fact that you're with us now. Aww. Uh, you better stop that, Captain, or else you'll have an entire squadron of jealous girls after you. Only you're interested in that, you dork. Sadly, though, she's got a point. I remember my timeline as clear as day. Further, this world is as foreign to me as my time would be to you. Yet, I have no recollection, recollection of how I was put into cold sleep mere months ago, or how I even entered your timeline in the first place. The lost technology we've seen so far has had seemingly magical properties. Maybe it had something to do with it. That seems possible. However, I will continue my research before forming any conclusions. Oh, that's good. Like a good scientist. You know, don't be content with just, eh, whatever. <laughs> Alright, tell me what you find. I'm curious too now. Well, I said I'm curious now too, but whatever. I will, Captain. Okay. Oh, interesting. Ikari, what do you want to say to us? Hey, Captain. How's it going? Just enjoying the view before the storm hits. Rumor has it that you're cooking up a plan to sink that beast once and for all. Easier said than done, I'm afraid. Hey, tip from someone who knows. Don't be so twisted up all the time. Hmm? Look, you pretend to be all smiles with the crew. But we all see those dark clouds gathering over your head. Honestly, it's starting to make me uneasy too. I won't let it affect my judgment. You know, when it happened to me, I was just 12 years old. The Alliance helped me out a bit, let me survive, but after I turned 16, I was out of the system. It messes you up. I turned to crime, experimented with some stuff I shouldn't have. Killed a man for my 18th birthday. Holy crap, not talk about a present. Ugh. Figured out I had a talent for it. Started running with this boy and his band of pirates. It was fun for a while, made some quick bucks. Last I saw him, he rammed his flaming orbital skiff into the Alliance cruiser. Didn't even dent the armor. Huh. You regret all of that? Regret? Huh. Yeah. Anyways, feels like there's one thing making you happy that's killing the jerks responsible for it all. But at the bottom of it, there's no nothing in this world worth going that's going to bring them back. She just slapped a car on the back. Well, how hard is this slap? Are we talking about like, uh, hey, it's okay, or is it a boom? Like, <laughs> well, don't get too down. We've got more reds to kill. Huh. Were you even listening, Captain? <laughs> You're hopeless. Oh, well. interesting. Okay, well, let's see what this is gonna be. It keeps it, it. It keeps hinting like we're heading towards the final. I wonder how close we are. But this next mission doesn't feel like it's gonna be the end. Like this, it seems like a deviation at best. <sighs> oh, yay! Someone's visiting. She'll just put the picture frame of Murray back down. Come in. <laughs> Whoa! With your puberty again a little bit. Come in. 
Am I interrupting something? No. But what do you have? The latest battle reports from the Alliance. Thanks. The Alliance has made further gains at Pact since the Second Battle of Ungress. Latest intel suggests Arcadius is gathering his forces at Sarah for a final stand before the Alliance enters Pact territory. So Sarah will be the decisive battle of this war. How poetic. How poetic indeed. If Sarah is liberated, the Alliance will be poised to launch strikes into Pact's worlds. That's a situation which not even Arcadius will take lightly. He'll have to realize the Alliance cannot be defeated once that happens. His only option would be to either sue for peace or risk total, total annihilation. The Alliance has never fought a war beyond the neutral rim in its entire history. It seems inconceivable they plan to conquer all of Pact space. Gray doesn't fight a war unless he intends to win. Yeah, he, he definitely proved that. I even looked at the picture frame. It's been a long fight, but it seems like the end is in sight. Hmm. I would have preferred to celebrate her birthday and Sarah. Doesn't look like we'll make it on time. Ava put her hand on Shield's shoulder. <sighs> best friend, best friend. Ava? These shoulders have carried much. Isn't it time to let some things go? Well, I'm not gonna let go of my sister. Not yet. Not while the crimson flag flies over our home. Not yet. I have nothing further. See ya. Hmm. Lots of dots. Lots of dots. Lots of thinking. Ugh. Oh my gosh, we're getting a flashback. Hold the phones. 11 years ago. Oh, we're gonna see his sister, aren't we? Kato shot with a <laughs> shot. Kato sat with Ava in an empty classroom. The curtains fluttered as the breeze as Twilight poured in through the window. Oh my gosh! Why does she look a lot cuter? <laughs> I guess school outfits always. Okay, never mind. Moving on. <laughs> you didn't hear anything. I promise. Hey, Kato. Hmm. It's late. Everyone else has already left. Yeah. But you still have that stack of paperwork to do, right? Besides, the graduation ceremony is coming up. We've got a lot of work to do. Nobody else seems to think so. Because you never asked for help. You always try to handle everything by yourself. You know, that just makes you look stuck up. You should stop. Hmm. Oh yeah, but deep down I know you want me to stay here. Because there's nothing Ava Crescentia likes less than having to fill out paperwork by her lonesome. Aw, what a gentleman. Idiot. Yep, yep, yep. Then, then Baka. Yeah, typical thing. And there we go. I'd say that's good enough for today. Ava stared through the stack of paperwork. Don't worry, I'm sure you'll fill you fill them all out properly. Oh yeah, no, no, I uh, think we're missing the point here. Come on, let's go. I have to pick Marie up from her, from her lessons. Come on, like what's she doing? Kato grabbed Ava by the arm and pulled her away. But but I should double check. It's fine. The uh, the two walked through the winter chill. Here, take this. Kato handed Ava a scarf. Aww. Don't need it. I can see your breath in the air. He wrapped it around her neck. Holy crap, how did these two not start dating? It's already winter, darn it. Everything's gonna be buried in snow again soon. Aw, she's blushing! Thanks. Yeah. You figure out when you're gonna do after graduation. Not really. Tell me once everything's decided. Hmm. It's gonna be tough without you, Prez. The school's gonna miss you. Hardly. The two arrived at the concert hall. Oh, Marie must be really good at playing the instrument. Your sister still plays music? Yeah, she's gotten quite good. I should take you into one of her concerts. 
Hmm. Aww, she's adorable. Kato! You ready? Uh-huh. The three of them walk home. The maestro scolded me again for dozing off. Really? I thought he liked you. I don't think so. He always seems... He's always saying to slow, I slow down too much. But I think the song's better that way. <laughs> a snowflake fell from the sky. Oh, oh, oh. Jeez, how picturesque are we getting here? Oh, look, Kato. It's snow. So it is. Gosh darn you, winter. The next thing I know, I won't even be able to get to school anymore because the doors will be frozen closed. Mm -hmm. You're so weak against the cold, Kato. Hey, I know how he feels. Cold and me do not mix well. We can build snow forts and have snowball fights. I can't believe we haven't figured out how to build a dome over Sarah City in the day, in this day and age. That would be no fun. <laughs> Meanie. Well, why does that mean? I'll take the hot beach over cold any day. Too bad we don't have much of that here. I agree. I bet Ava likes the snow more than you, don't you, Ava? Hmm. It's not bad. See? You traitor. <laughs> and it, idiot. This is, a, this is a conversation I have with their eyes. Oh, that's precious. Man. That's a, it's a good place to be when you can communicate just by glances. Of course, Ava just has to scowl at you and you know that she thinks you're an idiot. The trio arrived at their apartment. Your dad's out on deployment again, isn't he? Come on, my mom wants you over for dinner. I shouldn't intrude. No choice, it's a direct order from mom. Aw, nice. This is so pleasant, it just warms the soul. I want Ava over too. Your dad wanted this too. Aww. Th then I guess I have no choice. Thanks. Don't worry about it. <sighs> the calm woke shields up from his memories. <laughs> what, what, where am I? What am I doing? Captain, you're needed on the bridge. I'll be right there. Report. I've just received a priority one message from the Alliance. One of their spy drones just returned to sighting from the, of the Legion from the Helion system. Helion? That's quite detached from the theater of war. What's it doing so far from the action? Baiting us into a trap? Unknown. Whatever it's doing, it's not charity work. Is the Alliance already taking action? Admiral Gray has rushed four fleets to the last known position. We have been contacted to scout the situation before the Alliance ships arrive. Is that a course? Aye, Captain. Ooh. Here we go. My apologies, my leader. Admiral Gray turned out a far more treacherous villain than I could have imagined. Had it not been for his vile guile, that could have liberated Ongress, rescued the princess, and sank the entire combined fleet in one stroke. Fontana, you are still but a boy. You do not know what evil lies in the hearts of the imperialists. They are but a maelstrom of greed and perversion bubbling inside faces which only resemble men. Sadly, we are not giving them much to, like, reconsider about our abilities to be good people. Forgive me. I shall not fail again. Very well. Your idealism is virtue of our cause. We will forgive any mistakes which arose out of the desire to see our creed fulfilled. You are too kind, my Vizicar. There is a project which we've been working on. You will accompany us to oversee its completion. You will leave New Eden? We have already left four days ago. Tell us, do you know of the Paradox Project? Of course, a failed lab experiment which crushed Diode inside a black hole. A failure? Nay. They say the greatest scientific discoveries are those founded by accident. Come with us. Soon we will unveil a new weapon against the Alliance. One that will allow us to turn the tide of this war and strike terror into the heart of every imperialist from Solaris to Farpoint. Well, great! 
Wonderful. We have a black hole bomb generator. Wonderful. Couldn't get any better, could it? Ah. Fetch. Oh my gosh. Whoa, 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 whoa. I'm not sure what's about to happen here, guys. Hey, Kato? Yeah? Do you like me? Oh! How, that's gonna be one of those conversations! Oh, what? What the heck kind of a question is that all of a sudden? Oh, I wonder. Love's just a chemical reaction. When certain conditions are met, chemicals are released into our bloodstream, which simulates the sensation of love. Well, clinically, yes. Huh. Are we any different than robots, then? Running on chemicals which stimulate our existence? Simulate, not stimulate, sorry. Mine's going directions. Shush. You're not making any sense, Ava. <laughs> are you drunk? <laughs> Your eyes are transmitting electronic information of what you see to your brain. But how do you know if it's all true? Our reality is just a simulation of what really exists. Once again, yes. Doesn't mean you can't live life, though. Because it hurts my head to think otherwise. Ava sat on the desk and looked out the window. There are multiple trillions of us, living in more worlds than we can count. In the scheme of things, each one of us is insignificant. And yet, why do we believe each of us have our own destiny? Because we're all free people, that's why. You always have to make simple things so complicated. Oh? Of course, you, I like you. You're reliable. I get, the, I get the feeling that you can accomplish anything. I don't think that's what she means, though. Idiot. I wasn't asking that. What? I really enjoy talking about things which go over your head. What? Why are you listening here? Ava gave Kato an icy stare. This is why you don't have any friends. This <laughs> is dummy. Okay. See, I thought that was gonna go somewhere different, but okay, we're fine. Captain, we've arrived at the Legion's last known coordinates. Power down all non-essential systems. Give us a low profile. As of now, we've engaged in shadow operations. Aye, Captain. I want long-range scans around the clock. If you see anything suspicious, relay it to my office immediately. Captain, Admiral Gray informs me that the Alliance reinforcements are 48 hours out. In the meantime, he bids you good hunting. Give him my regards, Lieutenant. Sir! All hands, this is the Captain speaking. As of now, we are engaged in Shadow Ops. Our prey is the packed Super Dreadnought Legion. This enemy's firepower far outclasses our own. We cannot afford another close call like Ongress. That ship reduced Sarah City to a flaming crater in the blink of an eye, and it will do the same to us if we are not careful. Whatever it is the pact is plotting out here, we will get to the bottom of, at bottom of it and unravel it. Shields out. There were words missing in that sentence. Captain. Begin the operation. I'll be in my office. Understood. Okay. I think we're going to have to end there. I was hoping we'd have maybe one more conversation to have before we really get started, but thank you for being here. It's wonderful to be able to share this with you. I hope you're enjoying it still. I know this is going a long time, and, you know, I just love doing this. Like, I love this type of series. I think it's fantastic. I'm really excited to share it with everybody. I want you to know that I'm really grateful that you're watching this. I, I know it's a random place for me to say this, but I really appreciate the time you take to come on this journey with me. Thank you so much for all your support. Thank you so much for being a part of this adventure. And until the next episode next week, or any other videos you happen to watch in the meantime, I'll see you there.